All right, hey, Edward Pivos for MLive, and I'm here at Motor City Comic Con, the second Motor City Comic Con of the year. And I am here with Jason Marsden from Hocus Pocus. Listen, TGIF, this guy, I watched every one of your shows, I think when I was a kid, Step by Step, yeah. uh, Full House. When he was too young to go out on a Friday night, <laughs> before being like a kick-ass journalist that he is now, he was watching the television. And look, he's all grown up, and he's, and he's doing great. Uh, Eddie Munster, I remember yes. that. I remember really? that. Uh, yes, I actually do, because right I was a big Monsters fan. Nice, nice. Um, so you're here, though, for Hocus, kind of a Hocus Pocus reunion. Yes. Um, with Omri Katz and Vanessa. Yes, Vanessa. Um, how often do you guys kind of get together and do, do things like that? And how much fun is it that there's now, like, a second one? And, you know, it's we're in October. This is like Halloween. It's great. It, okay, the first part of the question is... <laughs> a lot of uh, questions. Is, uh, yeah, I, um, we get to do these often now. Uh, I was doing event, convention appearances for a while, and I... I, uh, I was I haven't seen Vinny in forever. We still had each other's information. I'm like, you got to do this. People would love to meet you. Um, we got a hold of Omri. I hadn't seen him in decades. We did a series together 30 years ago called Erie, Indiana. Um, Which I loved, by the way. So did I. It's kind of like a Twilight Zone-ish thing. Yeah, it for was kids. Great. Yeah, it's great. Uh, so now we get to do them all the time because of because everyone still loves the Hocus Pocus. People are watching it, showing it to their kids, and they're still watching it. And uh, and. It's a thrill to because we now I live in Nashville, so now I get to like see them, hold them, touch them, tan tangible. And the second part of the question was, you don't remember? I don't remember, remember but it's it Halloween, it's Hocus Pocus. Yes. When, back in the day, that movie wasn't. It was almost like a. It wasn't. Was it a flop? I don't know, but it's got so much life nowadays because it's like a cult Halloween classic. It's yeah, great. It blows my mind. Yeah, it came out. It came out in July. It was a Halloween movie. Released in July, Disney didn't want to compete with uh, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, yeah. so we got the the push and uh, and but it sustained to to our surprise and yeah. delight with a sequel yes. now. So Boy Meets World, uh, step a, by step here. Look, look at the cast right here. Show the. As a, is that Maleficent droid? Oh, right there. Oh yes. That's a <laughs> anything at Comic Con. That's a Star Wars like I don't know. Male Maleficent, maybe. maybe. Yeah, like you said. That's what, that's, that's what I'm thinking. So, okay, enough. Back to me. Hi. <laughs> hi, hi. Over here, over here. So you kind of almost, <laughs> I wouldn't say ruled TJF, but you kind of did. You were in a little bit of everything, and you were really funny. Thank you. I was very fortunate. Like, here's, okay, did you ever get to ride the roller coaster that's in the opening theme? <laughs> were you there? Uh, yes and no. So the, the, the roller coaster you saw in the opening theme was the Six Flags in California that they superimposed. If you look really close, you can see they superimposed like a mid, a, the lake uh, on, on, to make it sort of a lakeside amusement park, uh, movie magic. But uh, So yes and no. I got to ride that roller coaster, but not the one depicted in, uh, in Wisconsin. Okay. Yeah, where the show took place. All right. <laughs> So you have over 200 projects that you've done in, in terms of acting. Mm -hmm. So besides the obvious ones, like you know we just mentioned, is there anything that you can look back on that you're really proud of that maybe somebody might not know about that you would say you should watch that? I'm in it. It's really cool. Yeah, I, well, Erie, like Indiana. Erie, Indiana. Yeah, I love that. I mean, I, I was 17. It, it was like making little, little Twilight Zone movies. It was produced by Joe Dante, who did Gremlins, and I'm a big Gremlins fan, and. Uh, it was so much fun. I, I that's if anything, I wish I could do more of those. And uh, it's it's it, I'm proud of the work I did. Omri should be proud of the work that he did. He's fantastic, um, and I think it still holds up. I think people should yeah. give it a look. See. Okay. Well, there you go. So here you go, Motor City Comic Con. Yes. Through Sunday, there's Hocus Pocus reunion. You guys are having a big event tonight as well. Alice Cooper is like over there. Yeah, Alice Cooper's right over there. I don't know who's. You, you get starstruck? Oh my gosh, all the time. Yeah, yeah. All right. uh, yes. There you go. I, Stars get starstruck. Oh, stop. <laughs> You're a star. I get giddy. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to meet Matt Smith because not so much for him. I'm not, I never saw Doctor Who, but I'm devouring uh, House of the Dragon and uh, looking forward to meeting him. I yeah. think he's here on Sunday only. So oh, Sunday? Okay. You're going to have to wait it out. Work, working it out. So there you go. Yes. So come meet Jason <laughs> Marston here at Motor City Comic Con. Please.